Do you want to hear about one of the new medications that is likely coming to market in the near future with regards to weight loss we're talking about or for Glepron? Are you confused about your weight? Do you have questions about weight medicine? And do you want medically based answers to your weight questions? If so, you are in the right place. I'm Dr. Megan. I'm a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this is really important because I'm a medical doctor. I regularly prescribe these medications. I talk to patients about their weight all the time. I've helped hundreds of patients lose weight and I'm here to help you too. So today we're talking about a medication that's going to be coming to market likely soon if everything goes well, and it's called Orforglipron. This is a medication that's being developed by Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly makes terzepatide, AKA Munjaro and Zepbound. And as a side note, I have zero financial interest or anything to declare about Eli Lilly but there were some very promising new results from this medication or forglipron. So let's talk about it. So it's a once daily oral non-peptide GLP-1 receptor agonist. So essentially you can think of it similarly to like an oral semaglutide, but it's not the same. It's not semaglutide. It's a non-peptide medication. There was a phase two trial that was recently published last year. And there were, I'm gonna go through this like kind of quickly because I don't want your eyes to glaze over, but it is important. So they, so it wasn't phase three, it wasn't like the final stage, but it was, you know, they're testing out to see what the effect is on a smaller sample size of patients. So we're 272 subjects. These are subjects who have overweight or obesity and do not have diabetes. And it is a double blind placebo controlled trial. That's very important. It's a very high quality study. So what they found was um, they did a lead in period and then a maintenance period. Patients were losing between 9.4 to 14.7% total body weight loss at the 36 week mark. Placebo lost 2.3% total body weight loss. So that's a big difference between the two. Um, and they also found that higher doses of the medication did create more weight loss. 36 patients stopped due to adverse events. That's both in the um, medication and the placebo group. And also really interesting, the weight loss did not plateau at 36 weeks. So we could actually, when they do longer studies, it would not be unexpected to think maybe there's going to be more weight loss beyond this 14.7%. Also, there was a clinically meaningful decrease in systolic blood pressure and also a mild decrease in cholesterol. The safety profile was very similar to other GLP-1 agonists. Um, mild to moderate GI side effects were really the predominant thing that they saw. Um, so nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, burping. Um, this usually occurred during the dose escalation period and it seemed to be pretty fleeting. So it didn't always linger. It seemed to resolve with time, which is very helpful for patients to know. Also, more frequent GI side effects did not necessarily increase with doses beyond three milligrams, which is one of the lower doses. And, but they did see more side effects if the dose was escalated in like every one to two weeks versus every three weeks or more. So the faster they titrated up, the more likely they were, the subjects were to have side effects. Not surprising. There were more side effects in the 24 milligram group, but also that group titrated up faster than the other. So the, the dosing schedule was a little different for that one. So the takeaway is they're probably still a few years away from being going to market, but this is an extremely promising result because it's an oral medication and it's not a peptide. So it might be a lot easier to manufacture. You don't have to make these pens. So it means better access, possibly cheaper medication. And also you're getting very similar results and very similar side effect profile to the injectable medication. So it could really be 
a very potent medication that's gonna help a lot of people in much the same way that the injectable ones do currently, but might really improve access and price as well. Also really interesting that there was no plateau reached at the end of the study. So if we do, if we see longer trials, we might expect to see even more total body weight loss. So after phase two, they have to do the phase three trials with a bigger uh, pool of patients, and then it has to be approved by the FDA before it can even go to market. This was a very small study of 272 patients. The majority of 59% were women and 91% were Caucasian. So it was not a diverse study. Um, so they really need to do the larger phase three studies to look at efficacy, safety, and all, and see if this is really a medication that's gonna help a diverse group of people. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe and please be well.